Hey, babe. Yes. So what do you think about driving Maggie? I like driving Maggie, but it could be better. I need the seat a little bit closer. Yeah, it's funny. The dealership told us that they took care of that, too. And I don't think they did. No, especially after we saw that picture on the Preset Alante Facebook page. We know they didn't do it. So let's do it now. All right, slide up so we can see what we're talking about here. So this is how I have to drive the precept. Right, that's as far up as it goes? That's as far up as it goes. So I have to adjust the seat. So I'm sitting straight up and down practically. Wow. And that's not comfortable. That's not the way I drive. I think we can take care of this. Let's do it. Caution, this is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just RV owners attempting to adjust the driver's seat in our own RV. We are not responsible for anyone attempting this adjustment on their own. Get going with us. It's my understanding it was either late 2017 or sometime in 2018, Jayco actually moved the whole seat four inches closer to the steering wheel because this has been a known problem. For those of us who have the seat further back, there is an adjustment. And what the adjustment is, I'm gonna take this bolt, I'm gonna take this bolt out, and then we're gonna shift this up. Now, if you run your finger across here, right there is a pre-drilled hole, and it's going to fit up here also. Like I said, we're going to take this bolt out, this bolt out, and the same on the other side. So they are half inch. It's just a combo wrench and a ratchet. And by the way, we will be posting a link to the Precept Alante Facebook page down in the description box below this video. If you're interested in one of these RVs, they are a great bunch of people to know. Now back here... You have two bolts for the seatbelt. You want to remove the one closest to the front. So don't take the back one, in other words. All right, then release the seat, turn it around. Voila, those are the other two. That's all that's going to be involved in this. All right, this is the last one. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop all the bolts out. Now that we have all the bolts out, this slotted hole is going up to where this hole was. Just like that. And that will line up one of the back holes here too, so. All right, let's drop a screw in. Now the bolt that came out of there was 5 16ths. But as you can see, off a lot of play in the slot. So I've upped it to a 3 8 It just fits a little bit better. So we're gonna put this in, have a washer underneath also, and put the nut on, but we're just gonna leave it loosely until we get the bolts also in on the other side. Spin the seat around. All right, do the same thing over here that we did over there. All right, we put the front bolt in, the 3 8 5 16 is still going in the back here. Put that down. Now, one last thing you have to do, the bolt that we took out here was here. So we need to put another bolt back in. So you will need an extra bolt besides the 3 8 if you go the route that we went. All right, we're just going to go around and tighten everything down now. And seatbelt bracket. All right, let's bring it around the other side. Tighten these two down. It's not a difficult job. It's not that time consuming either. And there you go. That is two inches further than it was. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, let's try it out. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. And nice. Look, I actually can bend my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Closer down there. Yeah, even my feet are better. And I wasn't really having a problem with the brake or the gas. But you got those long legs, honey. Yeah. Short torso, long legs. <laughs> this is so much better. Cool. Oh, there you go. And look, I'm not sitting straight up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Looks a lot more comfortable. Oh, Indiana, here we come. It'll be a lot more comfortable ride. I'm driving. <laughs> you get shotgun. So it's Chuck's turn to try out the new seat. Sliding in. <laughs> now we're not short people. I'm five foot five and Chuck is six feet tall. And he, at six feet tall, had to pull the seat all the way forward. This is good. This feels a lot different. Normally when I would be driving, my elbows would come to right here. Mm -hmm. So now my arms are bent and it's a lot more comfortable ride. So 
I like it. I'm still driving to Indiana. <laughs> now, if you like this video, you think it's going to help you out, we'd appreciate the thumbs up. And don't forget, you can always subscribe right there. <laughs> it's right there. It's pain free. I keep telling you that. Feel free to comment. Feel free to share this. Because until we do something else to Maggie, the end. Oh, I should have keys. <laughs> <laughs>